And this sound now is really omnipresent. A lot of people are finding that there's a really wonderful, soulful, but still aggressive approach to dubstep that right. feels very riff orientated. It doesn't come as a surprise that you did some collaborations with Korn. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I've been listening to Korn since I was super young. I'm talking about nine years old. Such a major influence. Yeah, absolutely. So on so much as well. Me, I mean, not just. I mean, so much music right across the board. Exactly, and that's undeniable. And and I get a call from Jonathan Davis. You know who I? You know, like I said, I. He was such critics. This is Jonathan Davis. He was hey, going. Hey, hey, it's Jonathan. Hey. Yo, hey, Skrill, it's Jonathan. Yo, man, yeah, and and he called me, and and this was like, this was like uh, over a year ago yeah. in, uh, in November, and um, yeah, he was just like, you know. Congrats and everything. This was right after Scary Marshalls came out, so it wasn't even at this point now. And you never even met him up to this point. Yeah, no, I, actually, it's funny because in my old band, I did an artist to artist interview with him. Oh, crazy. In this a magazine called Revolver in the States, like a metal magazine. So how mad for him to see this guy that he'd met once doing so well in something completely different. I mean, yeah. he's really across that sort of stuff. He would have been blown away by that. Yeah, and the cool thing about John is that he's, he's so into music. Like, you know, th there might be some artists that. It's harder for them to kind of wrap their head around what's going on now, because you know, if they're if they're a bit doing it for for a long time or a bit older. But he's so into like current music and yeah. what's going on, and loves, you know, electronic music, and 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 is on that sort of. You can talk to him about Cohen Sound. You can talk to him about a lot of stuff that you know maybe some other people that haven't been listening to electronic music for a long time wouldn't know he knows so it's pretty well, cool well you can hear it because it doesn't sound like a band that are trying to shoehorn this sound into their music it sounds like a neat collaboration exactly and equal understanding on both sides narcissistic cannibal right now call on coming back we got skrillex in a minute Dubstep cheese and wine nights taken off. You know, a lot of people are excited about this. I think we need to do this. So we'll do some dubstep and ghost storytelling. We'll cuddle up in some blankets, get a little fire going. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many things you can do with dubstep now. You can do dubstep with melody. It's so it adaptable. You can do with anything. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Yeah. This is Corn Narcissistic Cannibal. Um, tell us a little bit about the process of working with with Corn because a lot of people will have assumed that this was a straight parts swap. And for those people that don't know, no. that means in the modern age, a lot of times music is sent over the internet. Someone produces it as their part sends it back but it doesn't sound that way tell me it didn't happen that way no we i mean we, i went to their studio for two days and we wrote we did uh three tracks together yeah we did three tracks together and um it was all written on the fly right there Amazing. john did vocals out in the main room in front of us wrote them right there i had bits and parts and stuff that was flown over yeah like like uh i think it's a cell phone i don't know it sounds kind of cool though. kind of does sound kind of cool yeah, <laughs> sample that no but but um no, yeah. So like we were there in the studio together and wrote everything right on the right on the. Right it really the sounds like it. That's yeah. what that was a relief about hearing. You know, the music that came out from this. It's easy to think that a band working in this kind of medium with a producer like yourself could be opportunistic. You know, even for a band as credible and awesome as Corn. Well, here's the thing. But it sounds too, it's natural. Like, I didn't want it to sound like a Skrillex remix or or some Skrillex tracks or some Skrillex whatever sounds over yeah. Corn. I wanted to. I want if we're gonna do a collaboration, let's do a collaboration. Let's become a band for these two songs and yeah. make music together and that's what sounds it sounds like it an awesome. evolution which is cool yeah man more of that more producing evolution <laughs> <laughs> more of that more collaborations more productions um yeah that will, oh, not not with corn just because you know the record's done actually you know they, they wanted me to do the full thing but i was just too busy with with my own schedule obviously so yeah. i hooked him up with you know noise and that's feed right. me yep, and yep. kill the noise and 
Flinch and Twelve Planet and all these guys. So they're and Downlink even too. Yeah. Mm, so mm, mm. Excision, Datsik, like they basically like it, it's a real tasteful, awesome album. Like they really did a great job of they they they're, they retain corn and they you know they maintain their sort of their sound. You know you can hear Philly on the bass, you can hear everybody, Definitely. and you can hear influences. It's pretty great, man.